Stanford is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. That'll bring up second and 15. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Call it a game of three yards. That brings us third and 12. Mike 17, down! And a quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. There's nothing better for a defense's mindset than to get a three and out. I mean, a turnover, of course, is a positive play, and a coach will take that any day of the week. But to know you've stopped the best their offense has to offer for three straight plays, that's a confidence builder. He really got a hold of that one. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Stanford's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just getting back and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to know. They don't want to know. That'll be the third and six. Makes the grab and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. This guy's combination of speed and his hands make him lethal. He can take a game over at any time. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. a yard on the run. This guy is very physical, and he does a good job of taking on blockers. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Three down. Three down. Three down. Three down. Three down. Here we go. Watch seven. Seven. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. From the 18-yard line, it's third down. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. That makes it first and goal. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Touchdown, Stanford! And he hits the PAT. It was a seven-play, 68-yard drive, and the result, seven points. So the score now... 7-0. Stanford gets set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Stanford's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Nice run there. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. And now the ball is loose. Scoops it up. Room around the corner. Makes it to the 31. Recovered by the defense. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. I'm sure that touchdown and their last possession's given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. And down he goes around the 25-yard line. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Stanford is up by a touchdown. Let's go! Quick throw. And they intercept it. The junior safety. Well, the quarterback should have thrown that one out of bounds. There was just no room to get it past that safety. First down. This is a scary spot deep in their own territory. Five wide. And he makes it out to about the five yard line. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they looked sharp before this one even started. He's taken down at the 19. Excellent job by the defense to diagnose the play so quickly. This is really a well-coached unit. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. Check, check mark 11, check mark 11. Down! He's pushed out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. And he's immediately tackled. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. Heading for the corner. And down he goes at the 33. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. That's a gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. Seven nothing, Stanford. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Stanford up seven points. Straight ahead on the give, and there's nowhere to run. Now it's 
It's third and six coming up. Ball on the 37. He's got it out to his tight end. Steps out of bounds at the 41 yard line. It's away and it's a booming punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. Inside handoff. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of six on the board. That'll make it second and four. Got some open field. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. Scrambling around. So the quarterback scrambles for about two yards on the play. Good speed off the edge by the sophomore to come up and make the hit. And he shoved out of bounds to 37 yard line. Loss of three yards on the play. That makes it third and 11. From their own 37 yard line. Third down. Check, check Mike 11, check Mike 11. Set, check six. Six. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That brings us fourth and seven. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Oh, excellent punt. He takes it at the 12. Knocked out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That's good for a game of one yard. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 24. Stanford is up seven. Let's go! And he's taken down around the 22-yard line. He's under some heat. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. Tackle made right around the 22-yard line. This safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. First and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. Make the stop at the 20. The running back gets two on the carry. Mike 17, Mike 17. That makes it second and eight. Oh, here we go. Watch, watch the pass. Watch the pass. And he's leveled at the 19 yard line. Gain of one yard. That makes it third and seven. 17's Mike. Mike 17. And and he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. 
and they can forget about returning this one. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Stanford is up by four. Lost the ball. Fumble. Picks up the fumble. They bring him down in the backfield. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down at about the 31. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he hits him hard at the 40. How about that play? It's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Passes it to the middle of the field. Tackle right around the 42-yard line. That'll make it 77. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. And he's tackled around the 17-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 17. Fires it out, out of bounds at the 11. That'll make it second and four. He makes it to the nine. Now he's scrambling. And down he goes at the two. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. UCLA ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's taken down at the 28. Number 30 with the tackle at the 28-yard line. Second down and seven. Ball on the 28-yard line. We've played a half of football here. The Bruins with a three-point lead.
We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Things are straight defensive out there right now. David, what do these two offenses have to do to open this game up? Well, it's it's fun to watch because obviously I'm a defensive guy and I enjoy this, but when, you're, when your defense is executed at that kind of level, the offense has to be precise. I mean, you got to throw it in tight windows. you got to be willing to take some chances that you normally wouldn't have. How about some trick plays, maybe? I mean, when you're losing the battle in the trenches, you got to find some way to kind of even it out. Maybe you get a little bit more options, some reverses, some double passes, something to loosen up this defense. Because right now, defenses are just winning out. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Great first half. Hopefully the second half is good. And he got all of this one. Great kick. UCLA's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing has just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. sacked and the linebacker gets in there for the sack great time to bring some heat from the linebacker spot they find themselves in a hole here after that sack at second and long He's out to the 30. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled right around the 34. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. That'll make it 31. Gets out to about the 35-yard line. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. UCLA is up by three. And he tackles him hard at the 39-yard line. There's a strike complete. And he's taken down around the 46-yard line. Looking to scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. Man, these guys can be aggressive. If you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Mike 17, Mike 17. Set 10 9 cut. Ah. Caught and he's hit immediately. And he is drilled at the 31 yard line. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt.
Brought down at the 37. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He makes his way to about the 48. From their own 48-yard line, first down. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle made at the 42. Number 31 on the tackle at the 42-yard line. That brings up second and one. Three down, three down. Mike 35, Mike 35. He fights forward to about the 39. Gain of three yards. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. They're packed in tight on the line. And off to the right. He makes it to the 38-yard line. like that the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage he got away with one right there he's very fortunate next time he should just throw it away out of bounds third down now and they need to get it to the 29 and they push him out at the 42 yard line The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. UCLA holds a field goal lead. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. And they make the stop around the 22-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Watch 28. Doubles, 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 doubles. Check. Gets it out quickly. Brought down around the 31-yard line. Just gets rid of it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 31. A little toss across the middle. They'll bring him down at about the 33 yard line. That'll bring up third and eight. He's going to go for the home run. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. That's a great tackle at the 40-yard line. A lot of fast receivers can be one-dimensional, but he's been working with his coaches to become more confident as a route runner. His progression has been very impressive. What are you doing? 
It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. He fights forward to about the 40. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 17-7, UCLA. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. 35's the mic. They'll give it off here, and they'll bring him down behind the line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. He's going to try and scramble. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. And a quick throw. He's hit and taken down. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's tackled right away. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Gets to about the 47-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Throws ball back and got his man. Tackle at about the 47-yard line. hit before he can go anywhere. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Nice to play that time. The key to this play defensively is the timing of the hit. Watch how he got in there right when the ball arrived and broke it up. That's a good play. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. They'll call on the field goal unit. He gets it up, and he nails the long field goal. UCLA's defense is really good, especially these last couple of drives. Well, now you start to think about how this team has played defensively, and what it's done is set up their own offense with really good field position to give them a chance to be able to extend this lead. They're ready to begin another drive. Gets it, he's in space. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line. Well, the defense has played so well for most of this 
this game and to be able to give up some big plays. This got to kind of pick themselves up and try to finish this game off and get the win. And he's immediately tackled. Number 30 with the tackle at the 26 yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Just under three to go in regulation. Knocked out of bounds at the 16-yard line. First down. Ready! 59 Philly! 59 Philly! And that sets them up with a first and goal. Number two, Number two on the tackle. First, first down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. First and goal. Ready, Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 75-yard drive. And they put up seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill and not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. So our score, 20 to 14. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. their first time out of the half here. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Caught out in the open. And down he goes at about the 43-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Just over two minutes in the game. Stepping up. I wouldn't be surprised to see a little animosity brewing right now between these two sidelines. This team has a huge lead, and they're still firing the football in the air trying to get more points. From their own 43-yard line, second down. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Stanford's called their final timeout. Nice run, and he's brought down. I think the defense put everything into that sequence of plays, and for the offense to come up with a first down, really more like the defense. From the fourth line, first down. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. So this one's final. Very well played by both teams today. 2014 UCLA. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.